This is just a tribute. You've gotta. I've just been told by corporate that we can't do that intro. Sorry, y'all. I dropped the ball again. What's going on, YouTube? RGL coming at y'all here on All Star Game Week. Here from Safeco. Oh, we don't we don't call it Safeco Field anymore. It's now T-Mobile. Okay, the home of Ken Griffey Jr. According to uh, some commentators, uh, I don't know exactly how much they saw Ken Griffey play in T-Mobile, but I sure didn't see him there very much. Although we did build it for him. Uh, I don't even know. I'm just on a I'm just on a tangent. Anyways, today we have 2023. Tops Tribute Baseball, this one coming out on uh, Wednesday, coming in at around $500 a box, which is a hefty price tag to pay for a tribute. I remember last year came out at $400, and even that was a little bit high, so I'm not so sure on the price tag. $500? Oh. On the other side, I love the product, uh, and if you like this one, go ahead and hit that like button, and as always, I do appreciate a subscribe if you're new here. Uh, we are now up over 40,000. We are officially on the road to 50,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So thank you guys all very much for the kind comments. And uh, yeah, especially for the comments this week after we pulled the monster uh, Brock Purdy Black NFL Shield 1 of 1 from 2022 Select. Just an overwhelming amount of positivity uh, and uh, cool comments to pull up, pull a product hit like that um, from all across Instagram, all across, across Twitter here on YouTube. So uh, it's been kind of a whirlwind last few days for me, uh, pulling a monster card like that, 30, 40,000, I don't, I don't know. Uh, anyways, today we're ch checking out Tribute. We're going to try and hit a 101 Trout or this guy, Shohei Otani, and uh, maybe get somewhere in that stratosphere. Uh, we're going to get six packs per box, uh, I believe uh, three cards per pack, so 18 cards total. And each pack does have either an autograph or a mem. And uh, yeah, this one is pricey, but... Uh, there are some amazing hits. So we have been a little bit starved for baseball lately. And there's the box. Three on-card autographs. Three game-used memorabilia. So no player worn in this set. Nope. No odds anywhere, I don't believe. None, none on the back of the pack. Um, this one's pricey. Uh, 500 is a steep, steep price tag for some potentially Max Kepler and, uh, and Byron Buxton autos. Um, but again, we're looking for the guy on the cover. The captain, Jeter. You know, this set does feature some of the very best uh, veterans, legends, and then there are just a handful of rookies. If you're wondering, I don't believe Ellie De La Cruz made the checklist, but I believe Adley did and maybe Gunner as well. Um, so there are, uh, I believe, nine, 100 base cards in the set and only 10 of them are rookies. So it's actually really, really hard just to get a rookie base card, let alone a rookie autograph. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think about the price tag of this one? We've been starved for baseball. We had Finest last week. We have, uh, we have, we just have Julio on top. I'll take that. Uh, we have Tribute this week and then Topps Chrome coming out later this month. So we're finally seeing some baseball. Um, on the back, we've got Seiya Suzuki. Hit is always going to be in the center of the pack. There's the card design really this year. Looks really good. They added kind of a refractor finish, I'm noticing. Um, and I like the design. The design looks really sharp. Um, but 500 bucks for 18 cards. Just doing some math off the top of my head. It's like almost 25 bucks a card. A little over 25 bucks a card. Uh, hefty, hefty price tag on this one. First hit is going to be the Polar Bear. The guy Julio knocked out of the home run derby. And that is going to be a triple mem. Everything is game used. Got a couple of bats in there. And uh, then a jersey swatch. So uh, once again, Pete succumbing to uh, Julio in the home run derby. Julio put on a show, but couldn't couldn't put on a show the whole way through. We all know Vladdy took it. Uh, oof, we got a thick pack here. Thick pack here. Hopefully, it's a monster. We're looking for this guy. Uh, Shohei has some, I believe, their career... We have a bonus card. Okay, so I think we actually have a rookie in here. Um, Corbin Carroll would be nice. Um, so they do have some Shohei kind of like, I can't remember the name of the checklist, um, but basically like a career retrospective kind of thing, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, Altuve on the back is going to be green. Not much separates, you know, a parallel from a base card, just that. Uh, that is numbered to 99. There's Alec Thomas. This should be a rookie right here. And it is. It's Riley Green. Riley Green is our rookie for Detroit. That's not too bad. 
And then uh, this should be an auto. I like the colors. I, I, I kind of like that color. Flashback. Corbin Carroll would be nice. End of flashback. Oh, and it's Corbin Carroll to 150. Hey, I literally called my shot right there. Corbin Carroll on card to 150, um, in my opinion. Probably the leading candidate for Rookie of the Year. And it's, I don't know, you can make an argument for a couple other guys. But I think Carroll's, Carroll's kind of the guy right now. Um, Diamondback's kind of a surprising team. Uh, Corbin Carroll, we'll take that. That is a good first auto for sure. Uh, Riley Gearing is a rookie. And again, there are only 10 rookies in the checklist. And uh, it's actually rather hard to hit one. I don't know if you're going to get one per box. Um, or if they're maybe more short printed. These are uh, six boxes per case. So I don't know what the case hit is. I don't know if it's still a sketch card or not. Uh, a 101 sketch. Can't quite recall. Uh, we've got Joe Mauer on the back. We've got Pedro Martinez. And this should be another Matt. Ooh, I, I, re I really hope this is not. I re Oh my God. It is a dual mem Shohei and Trout. Both game used bats. I saw the names and I was like, oh my gosh. If only this was two signatures. Uh, that is the 199. You got the boy, the the MVP. Man, MVP, and it's not close. Shohei is just the best player in all of baseball right now. I sure I sure do hope that Hitman rips the San Diego Padres don't get him. I'd love to see him up here in the Pacific Northwest, where he was originally consider considering signing before going to the Angels. I've got to watch him play. Guy's just amazing. He's just amazing. All right, we've got three packs left. We're still gonna see two autos, and so far we've seen a Trout and a Trout Notani bat, and then a Corbin Carroll auto. And we're starting this one off with a Mariano, Mariano Rivera base, and on the back Javi Baez. We should have another auto right here, and that's gonna be good old Eddie Murray. He is a stalwart of these kind of products. He is on the. On the tops roster for, for guys who sign in almost every single one of these products, along with Robin Ventura and Catfish Hunter and Keith Hernandez, just a long li laundry list of, um, I guess you, you know, I'm pretty sure Eddie Murray's Hall of Fame, um, but just kind of that lower tier Hall of Fame, you know, you know, you it's not all, you know, you you don't get all all amazing, you know, all Jeters and Griffies and A Rods and Frank Thomases, you know. You don't just get all guys like that. You got to take the Eddie Murrays and the Keith Hernandezes with them. Two packs left. One mem. One more auto left. Um, there's Jazz Chisholm. And uh, on the back, Vladimir Guerrero, your ho uh, home run derby champ. And then this should be another mem. Does feel a little bit thicker. And I'm seeing, uh, seeing Toronto on it. That's going to be Bo Bichette. And the cool thing about these stamps of approval is with this you can actually go and type that stamp in and it will tell you exactly where this piece of jersey is from one of the very very cool things about tribute is they do these kind of stamp of approval relics every box should have one i believe so that is one of the key selling points of tribute pretty cool also uh man all of our mems have been pretty good pete alonzo Bo Bichette, and mike trout shohei otani so not a lot of uh not a lot of filler here it's all been killer and uh, let's see if we can end this box with a bang. Uh, Bryce Harper. I would not mind seeing Bryce Harper in the center of this pack either. I love I love me some Harper. I wouldn't mind seeing Aaron Judge either. There's Aaron Judge on the back. And our final card of the day. This one's kind of quicker. Uh, $500 for 18 cards. Final auto is going to be Mark Burley for the Chicago White Sox. And as much as I don't want to see Mark Burley in a $500 box, he was one of my favorite fantasy pitchers. And favorite pitchers just to watch along with like guys like Tim Linscombe and young Clayton Kershaw. I love Burley, man. This guy could pitch a complete game in two hours and 20 minutes or less. Uh, just a workhorse pitcher on the mound. Didn't, didn't have overwhelming stuff, but uh, he was very, very efficient. Very fun to watch. Pitch to contact, um, but auto to 199, probably not the best auto. So we didn't, we didn't save the best hits for last today. We got them done early. Um, but overall, I would say that box was probably a little slightly above average, uh, which is why at $500, I'm not so sure this one is a buy. Uh, will be fun to you know break for sure, or uh, pick your, you do a pick your team style break or for whatever. But as a personal box, I mean, you really have to hit it out of the park to, to get that buy-in back. 
Uh, Riley Green base rookie on that premium 55 or 75 point stock. Game used bats of uh, Pete Alonzo with a piece of jersey in there. First auto or uh, auto was Mark Burley. We had a Bo Bichette stamp of approval. Eddie Murray on the auto to 125. Trout and Otani. That one's probably a 50, 60 dollar card, maybe uh, ish. But the big hit of the box was to 150, and that was an on card rookie auto of Corbin Carroll, who I have to believe at current rate will probably end up your uh, your uh, rookie of the year. Um, but I mean, like I said, if 500 dollars. I sure like these a lot more last year at, at 400 and we did have some decent base cards too. I mean, the base cards in the set are super premium. So even the Harpers, the Judges, uh, the Vladdies, the Moes, I mean, even those are cards that I would personally send over to ComC and probably sell for, you know, 3 to $5 each. Julio going to be a nice little PC piece for me. Um, but yeah, let me know your comments. Let me know what you think about uh, Tribute. Again, it's pricey compared to Finest, which came out last week at about $220, $225 a box. And uh, Topps Chrome coming later this month in the low 100s range for Hobby. And I believe I saw about $300 on Jumbo. So this one's definitely up there, although it's not as high as Dynasty and Sterling, which we've seen in months past. And those are way, way more degenerate of products than this one. I like this one. It's in the middle of the road. We don't have enough of these kind of middle of the road products you know, four or five hundred dollars for several autos. We don't get enough of these kind of products from Tops, and uh, when they come out, typically they um, they hover about the same price and then start to run out and they shoot up in price to 500, 600 bucks. So I would like to see more products like this from Tops. I would like to see more products where it's like seven cards, eight cards, kind of like Tops Inception. I would like to see more of those, kind of like we just did Obsidian Basketball, for example. I kind of like to see a set like that, but with Topps Baseball. I feel like the the hobby right now is kind of kind of hurting for sets like that. Like, we just don't have enough. That is going to do it for me. I'm going to get off my little soapbox right there. Take care. Stay safe. I hope you enjoyed the All-Star Weekend and have gotten to take a little taste of what we have here in the Pacific Northwest through your, uh, through your TV, through your phone, whatever you watch the All-Star festivities. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.